Hello and welcome to the video. Matthew here and we're going to look at question 3 which is a 30 mark question on probability. So part A tells us that Ron telephones his mother who's self-isolating due to the outbreak of COVID-19. If her telephone is engaged he tries again until he's successful or until he's made three unsuccessful attempts. So at any one attempt the probability of the call being successful is 0 0.7. So then question A part 1 which is worth 5 marks wants us to find the probability that Ron will be successful on the second attempt. So basically we're saying that he was unsuccessful on the first attempt and then successful on the second. So if the probability of him being successful is 0 0.7, the probability of him being unsuccessful is 1 minus 0 0.7. And 1 minus 0 0.7 is obviously 0 0.3. So now to work out the probability of him being successful on the second attempt. So we're taking it that he was unsuccessful on the first attempt. And the probability of that is 0 0.3. And that he was successful on the second attempt, which is 0 0.7. And now I'm going to multiply both these by each other. And this will give me my answer, which is 0 0.21. So the probability of him being successful on the second attempt is 0 0.21. Now let's have a look at a part 2, which is also worth 5 marks. So this wants us to work out the probability that that he'll be successful on the third attempt. So basically that it was unsuccessful on the first attempt and the second attempt and then that he was successful on the third attempt. So we worked out in a part one that the probability that he's unsuccessful is 0 0.3 and we're saying that he was unsuccessful the first two times and then at the last time which was the third attempt he was successful. So now multiplying all of those by each other so that's 0 0.3 by 0 0.3 by 0 0.7 we'll get 0 0.063. So therefore the probability of him being successful on the third attempt is 0 0.063. Now let's have a look at a part 3 which is also worth 5 marks. So this question is a small bit different and it wants us to work out the probability that Ron will be successful in telephoning his mother. It doesn't matter after how many attempts, just once that he is successful. So it could take one attempt, two attempts or three attempts. Now there's two ways to do this. You can work out the probability that all three attempts are unsuccessful and then do one minus this. Or you can add the probability that he's successful after the first attempt with the probability that he's successful after the second attempt with the probability that he's successful after the third attempt. So the probability that he's successful after just just one call is 0 0.7 and the probability that he's successful after the second attempt is 0 0.21 as we worked out in a part one and the probability that he's successful after the third attempt is 0 0.063 as we worked out in part two. So adding all those together we get 0 0.973. So the probability that he's successful regardless of the amount of attempts that it takes is 0 0.973. So that's our answer for a part three. Now let's have a look at part B. So B part one is worth five marks as well. So B part one says that if three coins are tossed, find the probability of getting two tails and one head. So there's three ways to get this. You can get a tail, head and tail. That being that your first toss is a tail, second is a head and third is a tail again. Or you can get two tails first and then a head last. So that's TTH. Or you can get a head first and then two tails. So it's important when you're working with the probability of this that you take into account that it can be done in different orders. It's not necessarily just two tails and one head. You can have, as I said here, there's three different ways to get two tails and one head. So to work out the probability of getting a tail, a head and a tail. So first of all, the probability of getting a tail is a half. The probability of getting a head is also a half. The probability of getting a tail then again is also a half. As of course, there are only two options when tossing a coin, either a head or a tail. And a half by a half by a half is one over eight. So now the probability of getting two tails and then a head is also going to be a half by a half by a half, which once again is one over eight. And the same thing again for a head and then two tails. So it's one eighth. So to work out the total probability of getting two tails and one head, we're going to add those three probabilities together. So one eighth plus one eighth plus one eighth. And that's going to give us three eighths. So that's my answer for B part one. Now let's have a look at B part two, which is worth 10 marks. So this says that if three coins are tossed eight times, find the probability probability of getting two tails and one head exactly three times. Give your answer correct to four decimal places. So I'm going to use a Bernoulli trial for this and with the Bernoulli trial we need the probability of success and the probability of a failure. Now the probability of success here will be getting two tails and one head from three coins and we worked out the probability of that in B part one which was three over eight. So therefore the probability of success here is going to be three over eight and the probability of failure is going to be one minus the probability of success. So here that's going to be probability of failing is five over eight and a fail here would not be getting two tails and one head from three coins. So in our Bernoulli trial, so we have eight coin tosses and we want to get two tails and one head exactly three times. So it's going to be eight choose three times by the probability of success, which is three over eight. That's going to be to the power of three as we want to get three successes. And then times by the probability of failure, which is five over eight. And if we have three successes, we'll have five failures. So it's eight choose three times by three over eight to the power of three times by five over eight to the power of five. So let's work that out now. So eight choose three 
times by 3 over 8 cubed times by 5 over 8 to the power of 5. That's equal to 0 0.28163194666, but correct the four decimal places, that's 0 0.2816. So that's the probability of getting two tails and one head exactly three times when you toss three coins eight times. So that's the answer for B part 2, the final part of the question and the end of the video. So thank you very much for watching and I hope I helped.